Explorer is sending back startling information to Earth. The Explorer 1, NASA's farthest voyaged space gadget, is bridging hidden areas of the universe. Pretty much 50 years later, after its goodbye, researchers are confused by the startling information that this remarkable space probe is sending back to Earth due to what appears to be a breakdown. Join us as we look at the odd information that Explorer 1 has been sending back to Earth during its exasperated space examination. Experts have been captivated in learning about the region's past since the colossal explosion that caused the goodbye of Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, among other space missions. Explorer 2 was, in fact, the first space contraption to be launched from the NASA Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. On September 5th of that same year, Explorer 1 was launched about 14 days later. In any event, could they have switched places like twins? The combined mass of the two probes is 720 kilograms, which was roughly the size of a small car. Both were launched during a window of remarkable out-of-planet courses of action that caused a slingshot effect, sending the rockets from one planet to the next. They have, however, had to move at different paces and in different directions. On December 15, 1977, Explorer 1 had the chance to pass its identical twin. From there forward, it has been our go-to resource for investigating various real factors in space and related puzzles. The first space mission to do so was this one. When it began its Jovian imaging mission in 1978, it was around 265 million kilometers from our planet and sent countless photos back to us. Explorer 1 completed an exceptional 100-hour stretch, starting in January 1979, during which it captured 3,750 photographs of Jupiter's revolution to produce a time-lapse film showing 10 of the planet's rotations. It passed through the Jovian moon system in February 1979, and a month later, it had identified the small ring surrounding Jupiter. Explorer 1 also made an exceptional discovery at that moment, finding two new moons name, criminal, and M. Helpful moves were made to ensure that the rocket was prepared for its flyby of Saturn and to prevent any possible contact with Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Explorer 2 found four additional moons during its orbit around Saturn, including Mimas, Enceladus, and Dion. Our experts decided to end the Explorer planetary mission after the Saturn mission was completed and sent both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 beyond our planetary system, traveling at a momentum of 325 million miles per year. In January 1990, the new mission, now known as the Explorer Interstellar Mission, began. Probably the most famous photographs in history, depicting the Sun and most of the planets, were taken by Explorer 1 on February 14, 1990, while it was 6 billion kilometers from the Sun. These are often referred to as the family photo of the nearby planetary group. There were 60 shots taken by Explorer 1, bringing the total number of photographs taken by the probe to 670, though Mercury and Mars remained invisible in the photographs due to various factors. Finally, the rocket's cameras were turned off to conserve power and memory before its trip into interstellar space. NASA also operates the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons rockets. Before Explorer 1 passed Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, Pioneer 10 was the farthest space gadget. Explorer 1 continued its journey for a further 14 years before it finally entered the interstellar medium on August 25, 2012. With no other space probes in sight, NASA did not publicly announce the achievement until 2013. Let's fast forward to November 2008. Both space probes have officially left the local planetary system. When Explorer 2 crossed the heliopause and entered the interstellar medium, Explorer 1 was estimated to be 145 billion miles away, about 1,550 light-years from Earth. It has continued to send us crucial data that no other space probe missions have been able to reveal since it entered the invisible region beyond our solar system. The spacecraft has spent most of its long-term trip in space in excellent health. However, recently experts have discovered a few odd characteristics in its performance. Explorer 1 is now sending perplexing signals back to Earth, giving the impression that it is having trouble. With its location, there is, however, a frightening possibility regarding the issue. Normally, experts have pre-programmed Explorer to go int, safe mode, or sound an alarm if it goes off track in space. However, so far its radio antenna which sends data back to Earth 
is by all appearances in operation. But the data it has been sending recently is problematic. The other Explorer probe is working consistently, taking bearings from Earth and conveying them outward, as well as gathering and sending scientific data. However, readouts from the rocket's communication and control systems do not clearly indicate what is going on inside. As stated by a NASA official, what exactly is happening is unclear. Each rocket heading toward interstellar space, including Explorer 1 and 2, carries an exceptional 12-inch gold-plated plate that contains sound and video messages as a backup in the event that an extraterrestrial species finds the rocket. The plate contains 35 Earth sounds, 115 life photographs, 90 minutes of Western music, and good wishes from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, as well as former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim. The items on the space DVD are kept in 55 different languages, so if they were ever found by extraterrestrials, they would likely be trying to translate the signals. Speculations that the spacecraft is currently under the control of extraterrestrials have been promptly dismissed by researchers. Explorer's capacity to function depends on its attitude control and bearing control instruments. First of all, it generally keeps its radio antenna pointed at Earth, so experts can accurately receive data. Additionally, it controls how the spacecraft is oriented. Experts currently feel that the spacecraft is functioning as it should, which only adds to the mystery we now face. Moreover, none of the safety features designed to protect the probe from danger have been activated, according to Susan D., the mission lead for Explorer 1. This is a mystery similar to the standard for the course of the mission at present. The probes are both around 45 years old, which is much older than what was originally anticipated in the mission plan. It is also recognized that the spacecraft's engineering team will face some significant challenges in dealing with the issues with Explorer 1 due to the distance between us and the probe. The challenges are vast, largely because the spacecraft is about 145 billion miles away from Earth. This immense distance presents several complications that the team will need to investigate carefully. A rescue action is practically impossible, given the current technological and logistical barriers. Explorer 1 is now far beyond the reach of any spacecraft technician, calibration team, or fixed mission. The incredible journey has taken it into the farthest areas of our local planetary system and beyond, into interstellar space, where it continues to travel farther away from us each day. Messages sent from Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to reach Explorer 1's current location. This means that any request or direction sent by the engineering team takes a lot of time to be received by the spacecraft. This delay presents a huge challenge for ongoing decision-making and troubleshooting. Moreover, once Explorer 1 processes the request, any response or data it sends back to Earth will take another 21 hours to return. This suggests that two-way communication between Earth and the spacecraft takes an average of two days. Such a delay makes it incredibly difficult to implement timely plans or iterative research processes, which are often crucial when dealing with complex technical issues. The engineering team must carefully plan and execute each request, anticipating extreme conditions and potential outcomes, much like missions closer to Earth, where experts can quickly send and receive orders. The long communication delay requires a more methodical and patient approach. Every instruction must be carefully crafted to resolve known issues without causing unintended problems. Given the extensive time it will take to confirm whether the request had the desired effect, the communication delay also means that the team has limited opportunities to collaborate with the spacecraft. Every command sent must be feasible and precise, leaving little room for error. This requires extensive testing and validation of orders on Earth before they are communicated to Explorer 1. Additionally, there are key challenges. The spacecraft itself is over 40 years old, having been launched in 1977. The technology available at the time, while cutting edge, is now considered outdated by current standards. The engineering team must work with equipment and systems that were designed and built in the 1970s, which adds another layer of complexity to the decision-making process. The harsh environment of space has also caused significant wear and tear on the spacecraft systems. Explorer 1 has been exposed to tremendous radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroids for more than 45 years. These factors contribute to the degradation of its components, making it even more challenging to maintain and repair. 
Despite these obstacles, the engineering team remains committed to addressing the current concerns. They are exploring various theories about what may be causing the irregularities and testing potential solutions through simulations on Earth. A clear approach is critical, given the stakes involved. Any incorrect command could potentially worsen the situation or lead to a loss of communication with the spacecraft. The team is also utilizing the redundancy built into Explorer 1 systems. Like many space missions, Explorer 1 was designed with backup systems to increase its resilience to failures. The engineering team may potentially switch to these backup systems or reconfigure existing parts to avoid critical failures. NASA stated in a recent explanation that, until the cause of the issue is better understood, the team cannot predict how long the spacecraft will continue to collect and send scientific data. However, Susan D. is confident that the issue will be resolved if it is something that can be fixed with the attitude control system, which manages the spacecraft's orientation and communication. The spacecraft's extraordinary journey has taken it to the farthest reaches of our planetary system and into interstellar space, where it continues to travel farther away from us each day.